Welcome back to yet another episode of this mini series of the top three. One, two, three, four, and five star skill moves. Today we are learning the top three. Three star skill moves in FIFA 22. This is, in my opinion, the best of those three star skillers in FIFA 22. Griezmann, three men around him, but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic. Opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Yeah, it almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! It's a display game. Absolutely yeah. The roulette. I already did a standalone tutorial on this, and you guys would have seen me stress to you how effective this is to actually beat defenders one on one in FIFA 22. And I believe it made my top three skill modes how to beat defenders in FIFA 22. To perform it, you just need to enter in at the back of the player and then rotate around to the side the opposite side so you need to enter in at six o'clock rotate around to three around to 12 and around to nine to do the roulette to the right you need to to do the roulette to the left enter in at six rotate around to nine around to 12 and around to three and that would be a clockwise motion whereas to the right would be an anti-clockwise motion and basically you're rotating that all the way around the player will do a roulette which will enable him to obviously drag the ball away from the defender as he approaches you with his foot now as i stressed to you previously lads such a very good skill move for beating defenders and when they approach you on a fast motion maybe he's an aggressive defender you can utilize this to bypass that tackle and get in on goal or in general just continue on with your attack it had to make this episode of the top three three star skill moves lads and you should most definitely utilize it this year in your fifa 22 attacking game the heel chop or as i like to call it the ronaldo chop to perform it lads you just need to perform a face shot then you need to hold in l2 or lt okay on the xbox or ps5 depending on which console you're on and then point the left and lot stick to either side depending on where you want to perform that ronaldo chop now when i mean either side it's either to the right or to the left where the player is facing and then you perform a fate shot so it's cross or shoot with pass pressed subsequently afterwards and the player will perform a ronaldo chop where they basically do a heel chop inside to then obviously cut inside make a pass or in general make a shot now I did a standalone tutorial on this and as you would have known for or remembered from that episode if you watched it I said how good this is for cutting inside it's one of the best skill moves for cutting inside and getting an angle to then finesse it now we know how overpowered finesse shots are this year in FIFA 22 and I think that's why it makes this episode because it sets us up perfectly to make that finesse and make that shot to get it into that top corner of the goal. One of the best and most easiest, but most also effective skill moves, top three skill moves in FIFA 22, and you should not hesitate to use it this year. It was tough for this last one, but I'd say it'd have to be the heel flit. Such a good way of speed boosting away from that opponent's tackle. To perform it, you just need to press forwards once and then backwards once. And the player will do a flick from their heel to the other heel to then burst past that tackle. Now I find when you have a defender either directly in front or a little bit to the side or even to the side of you and you perform the heel flick, it will burst away from his tackle as he launches out with his foot. Okay, so you can use it to basically flick and then burst off with the R2 button into the space which is available. And I said it was tough because there's not many three star skill moves. However, I would have to put this into it because number one, heel to heel is one of my favorite skill moves and this is a three star variation of that. Number two, I find is a little bit of a speed boost which means you can burst past the tackles and get into some space to maybe get a shot off or in general speed past the defender to then get in behind this episode was probably one of the most toughest decisions in terms of the top three three star skill moves if you disagreed or agreed let me know and tell me what other skill moves were that are three star this year in fifa 22 but lads that will signal the end of the episode i hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't yet subscribe and also hit a like on this episode i'm doing tutorials on instagram and tiktok as well so go and check them out links are in the description down below but uh, as always i hope you have a good day i'm out and before i hit my conclusion if you haven't seen this one lads this episode here it's the top three two star skill moves go and check it out you might find it helpful but that will see you on the end of the episode i'm out sayonara au revoir adios salam ciao and goodbye